Good morning everybody, it's Diane and I am going to continue working on the fairy journal that I'm working on. Uh, first of all, I know the lighting isn't great, it's a dark, cloudy, rainy day, and this is the best lighting I can do. <clears throat> I opened my window shade and I have my the light the best I can do it. I don't have my overhead fluorescent lights that I had hanging over my tables, I keep talking about that. Eventually, I will get them back. I just don't know when, and I'll get them hung, but I don't even have them in the house right now. because Somebody took them, but he's bringing them back. So anyway, this is the best I can do. So I want to, I, I think I pretty much finished everything that I wanted to do in this signature. So then we'll just do the uh, other signatures, but I'll show you that I sewed this pocket on. <clears throat> we, we, um, selected pieces for this pocket yesterday. I added a little bit of fabric and lace up here. Uh, the problem that I didn't foresee was that the stitching, see this is sewn this way, so that there's, this is open here, so that when I try to put something in it would get caught on that. So I opened it up and um, just put a little line of glue in there and held it down and without gluing this part down. So I think it should be okay now. Let me just try it. Oh yes, much better. I'm gonna trim this fit, but I just wanna make it easier. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit off one end of this. It's a, <laughs> I think it's a five by six, four by six, four by six index card. Yeah, that's better. So that's what I'm going to use to make this dragon journaling card. We painted the dragon yesterday. So I think all I want to do is just add a little ink. Um, well... The pinky color that I used was Stampin' Up's Cameo Coral, and this is Tim Holtz's Abandoned Coral. Let's see how close they are. I think that'll do. Just going to ink around the edge. It's not very dark, though. You know, I could have used, I don't have to use distress inks, I could have used my Cameo Coral to do this. Silly me. Just get used to doing it with the distress inks. So I will go grab my Gumball Green, which was the green that I used <clears throat> on the dragon. I have to do a new setup in my room, um, obviously, from what I had before. I don't have my stamping table anymore. <clears throat> so while I was kind of uh, trying to organize in here yesterday, I was trying to think, what do I really need here at, at my work surface, my work table? Um, so. The drawer unit that I had at my right hand when I'm sitting in my other seat. Um, it has tags and pockets and envelopes and things like that in it, which was really handy to have there, but I don't have to have that right there. I can I can move it away a little bit. Ooh, I like those two colors together. So I moved a, uh, my drawer unit that had all my inks and things in it on, at my other table. I moved that there, so that's going to be handy, I think, 
I think I'm going to like that there. So uh, I'm feeling a little bit better about the way things are in here. I will be so much happier when I have my shelves overhead, though. But patience. I'm learning patience. As long as I know where stuff is and I can access it relatively easily, I'll be okay. So I was looking for this index card and I automatically reached to the drawer to my right, but it wasn't there, it was inks. So I just have to remember. So, oh, I should do the back too. I think he looks cute, just glued on there and then you can journal here and you can journal there. Should have done the back while I had all my stuff out. still using the felt. I tried using foam and I end up with patchy circles and I know it's because I'm not doing it right but I don't have any problem using the felt so I'm just going to keep using my felt. something fun with sequins today. So I hope you stick around long enough for that. I thought it was funny that I just I I never use these dragon stamps like I said yesterday but I got to use them and paint some yesterday and then <coughs> today Mrs. Cog's Crafts uploaded a new uh, digital set with uh, mythical dragons. Oh well, that's really cool. I'm, I am positive I have a couple of her fairy sets but I can't print them. I was looking at a printer online, but I don't really want to order one until I have returned the one I have, make sure I get my money back for it. That's a cute little journaling card. And it's, when you pull it out, surprise, it's a dragon, not a fairy. I think I need to put a fabric tab on that. Add a little interest, I'll layer it.
so there's that page. I already had that on there. I'm going to take this out because I used a bookmark in a different spot. And I want to make sure I have enough bookmarks for all the journals. So I stenciled on the back of that Elsie Bell's page that didn't get the journaling lines printed on the back. We covered that, the back of the calendar page yesterday. I added the Mrs. Cog's fairy quote onto the doily. I added this fabric cluster. And I got the envelope apart, made this journaling card out of a vintage children's book illustration. And added this little fairy from an old Graphic 45 set to the envelope. And I tucked this postcard, it's a large postcard, into this pocket. I think I might want to put something on this pocket. And then here is what we're going to do with the sequins. I took a piece of acetate. It's got a doily pattern printed on it. And I made a little pocket on the page. Can't open it. It's just a sealed little decorative pocket with some sequins and some lace. I added the fabric flip. And then on the back, Here's where I used the bookmark. I glued down a guest check for journaling and a um, glassine bag. And this is one of the German scraps that I believe Perio sent those to me. Perfect. And then I just put this little fairy bookmark in there. So that's that signature. We can get going on the next signature. I didn't I didn't choose an image to be on the front. So let's skip over that for now. I'm looking for my Elsie Bells. Fussy cuts. I can put that one there. This little fairies card. I think somebody sent that to me in a happy mail. I'll just tuck that in there. There'll probably be something else in there eventually. I have this calendar page that I want to cover, but I'll do that. I don't have to do that on camera because I did that one on camera yesterday. Let's pick out one of these to go on this doily. I think somebody must have sent these to me or else I borrowed someone's stamp and made a couple because I don't have that stamp, but I love it. I have, I found, yeah, there's two of them. So I'm sure I don't have that stamp, but I have these two colors of cardstock, so I don't know if I stamped them or if somebody sent them, but they can go on uh, the inside of a book, one of these journals.
I don't want to sew that onto the doily, so I'm just going to sew around it and then glue it, for the, sew it around it for decoration, ornamentation, and then glue it down. It's a quote from Hans Christian Andersen. Just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. glue will go through the holes of the doily. Just make sure it's all dry. cluster to this page. I like this one with the colors. And I just sew along the top and the side, so this is loose, but it's not too flappy. one more fabric cluster. I think I forgot that I have four of the little fabric journals that I'm making and I think I only made enough for three. Elsie Bell's cards here. I think that would work in there, except it goes that way. It's a little fairy sitting on a mushroom. Lined paper.
those little graphic 45 stamp images. This is from an old set called Once Upon a Springtime. I'm only gluing on the top half of it so I can have part of it extending off. Make sure it's straight. Make sure there's no glue sticking off. pretty fabric pocket there. Now this is the image that matches my fairy stamp, but I had to cut part of it off for the book cover. I wanted to make sure I got my book cover pieces cut so I could get good images on them. And I really love that image, but there was another one that I wanted. I can get part of it here. It kind of blends in. The colors are just enough that they blend in with the paper. If I could put a different color of trim at the top, it would help. Don't know if I want that. I think I'd like to use that somewhere in the book. to be too wide because it'll cover her head. This is pretty. I would glue this on though because I have trouble sewing this thick lace. Maybe it would be okay on fabric. I have trouble sewing it onto paper wants to punch the lace right through the paper. Yeah, I like that one. We'll try sewing it on. stitch because it will get sewn over when I sew it to the paper. Oh, 
Come on. just fine. I want to look for something to decorate over here. sent this piece to me. This one shows up better though. So down in the center. Adding lace to the top also helps um, stiffen the top so it's easier to put things out in and out and it's not, sorry, it's not so flimsy. postcard in there. Let's put yellow. There's a there's yellow in the print and I don't want to have too much pink. Because you can. It's possible to have too much pink, you know. And 
next project would be the little pocket of sequins. Where did I put that? Oh, I put it on this page. I think for this signature, I'll put it on this page. I already cut my pieces of acetate. You can see the doily image. <clears throat> doesn't show up a lot on here. So I just am setting it on there at an angle. And I'm going to sew around the two sides and the bottom, but not the top. I'm just using a straight stitch. Now, for the fun part, I have a little folded piece of paper here, and I'm going to just put a little mix of sequins on it. I, in, the first time I did it, I poured some of the pink ones in, and then I put some silver ones in, but you can't mix it, but you can't really make a mix once they're already in the pocket. So then I dump them back out and I mix them on the paper. These were left over. So I'll just add a little bit of the green because there's some green on that page. And some of this coppery color. have these this mix of little tiny beads. I'm just gonna throw some of them in, just very few. And there goes a bead rolling away. So now I take my little folded paper My hand will probably be in the way, but I'm going to hold the top of the acetate up and just pour the beads in, or sequins. Tried to escape. And then we'll look and see if we have enough in there. I think so. We don't want to make it too bulky because you know they're all going to gather at the bottom and bunch up there. So now I'll just zigzag or stitch across the top. It doesn't have to be zigzag, and I'm just using straight stitch. So there we have a little fabric pocket, or a little, not fabric, a little sequin pocket. And I want to decorate the top of it 
Maybe I'll just put a piece of this vine on there, meandering across the page. page. And I'll do a fabric flip on this. Oh, well, that was supposed to have the fabric flip. do it on that page but I could do it here where'd my fabric flips go got my little fabric clusters This is a fabric that has hydrangeas printed on it very subtly with some script on it. I feel like I have a very awkward setup today. right here in the way of my page. And then I need to decorate the back page. out of. Don't want to forget it. Are the German scraps. I also have this bag of German scraps. And what I was looking for when I got into this box was my Denison flower stickers. 
because I forgot about the German scraps. So any of those would be great <clears throat> for a fairy journal or butterflies. Here's some more German scrap. Even that would be pretty. Oh, mushrooms. These are so beautiful. These have glitter on them too. Just butterflies in here. I know Pirio sent me a lot of these. I don't remember if she sent all of them to me. Just gonna see if there's any fairies. These don't have glitter. Love that one. Oh, you can't see. My angle is not good. That's a big one. Oh, there's little packs in there too. They're just flowers. No fairies. There's an angel. See what we want to do. I do want to use some of my venison flowers because I don't use them enough. I've got glitter. <laughs> not where I had it. I had switched them around. That's okay. I just kind of wanted the butterfly on the opposite side of that.
covering up some of your writing space. And I will look for a bookmark to put in there. I like this Woodlands one since we're doing mushrooms and butterflies. Let's put this little Jack in the Pulpit fairy in there. Okay, now this is not the next signature complete because I have to go back and do the couple things that I skipped. I have to do something on the front. I could use, oh, she's pretty, the colors. I like that green. And I'll need a piece of contrasting um, scrap um, cardstock to frame it. Hanging on my closet door, I have a shoe um, organizer, one of those hanging shoe organizer, organizers with the vinyl pockets, and it is full of punches. So when I open my closet door, it just kind of bumps up against that and makes noise. It kind of makes it a pain because while I'm in the closet trying to get stuff, the door keeps wanting to shut because of the weight of the punches. But it's a very good use of space, good place to put my punches, so I'm keeping it. I did that in my other room too, my other craft room. I used to have two of these big drawers full of scraps of um, cardstock. I had one drawer for neutrals and one drawer for colors but I'm trying to take up less space with my craft stuff, so I got rid of some and combined them. That would be nice if it was big enough. That's pretty, but it doesn't set it, set it off from the page, which is the point. Let's just do the black. This is also from Graphic 45's Once Upon a Springtime, and this punches out. So I want to make sure it's going to be secure on that. This one doesn't have a seam, so I don't have to worry about uh, gluing the seam together so it doesn't interfere with the tag.
That's a cute little card. It's already on card stock, so I don't need to back it to anything. I'm going to look for one of my appliques to put up in that corner. Butterfly. And then I think we'll have to call it quits for this video. And I think it's about time to open another bottle of 3-in-1 glue. Probably should have put that down here. Didn't think about that empty space there. But, I have just a couple minutes before an hour, so I have some stamps I want to use. Just have to find the right size. I think this one will work. Yeah, I'm going to make a label stamp to put there. And I can use any color ink I want, because it's a stamp. If I have the right shade, let's try this one. I'll talk about these stamps in, in another video. I don't have time right now. I think this green will match the darker green there.
doesn't stand out very much. I think I, I matched it too well, but I'm going to use it. Maybe I could find a definition of a fairy and put it in there. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. And um, I will probably continue working and getting these journals, this, these signatures put together, and then I can put the book together. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.